Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here, Sesame News. Wait, 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 wrong, wrong live stream, sorry. Welcome to Sunday Tea Book. <laughs> Called pop cultural reference you didn't get, right? Oh, okay. Hopefully you guys got it, probably not. Muppets are pretty dated. Anyway, welcome back to <laughs> Sunday Tea Book episode 44. Mm -hmm. I'm super stoked as usual, making re silly references to historic kid shows that don't make, holy <laughs> arrival, here I stand, here I stand, look around, 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 time to talk tea, yes, I like that echo effect, well done, time signature MMA, hello, mm -hmm. welcome to the live stream, welcome to the show, Fernanda, hey there, Josh, super, super early, early dude, today. boom, you <laughs> nailed it, Mac McMillan, welcome back, Dominique Harangi, welcome, um, I believe, and Lolo, hello, Lolo, and everybody on Instagram, welcome to Sunday Tea Book episode 44. Four. That's right. We are counting up and you guys are welcome and we're so glad, so glad to have you. Mm. We have, oh, you're <laughs> trying to say <laughs> something. I just want to say what we have in store <laughs> because we have, as per normal, we've got, um, we have got Sunday Tea Book coming up. But before Sunday Tea Book, we always enjoy Tea Trivia Time. We have Tea Trivia Time, so if you're on Instagram, make sure you jump over to YouTube so you don't miss Tea Trivia Time. And we have a little extra tidbit for you guys today, which is going to very be... Very cute. A very cute but recent fun. video clip. Fun, cute, so we'll be sharing that uh, coming up today and then diving into our document. And now I will let you speak. <sighs> I suddenly forgot what I meant to say. <laughs> you can tell them what we're reading so, then. Or uh, so drinking. for Sunday Tea Book, we're going to continue today with the tea classification in practice and... Uh, in theory. In theory and practice. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, the, the origin of uh, the six tea types that we're familiar with yeah. today. Super interesting. Um, put forth by Professor Chen Chuan in the 70s, and this paper was translated by Michael Salt, um, a librarian of Cambridge University, and published in the French, uh, French geology, geology, uh, no, no, botany no, sorry, journal? Agriculture, agriculture journal, journal, yeah, in 1981. Uh, this is just for the nerdy us who wanted to dig into a little bit more about uh, what T classification and what are the considerations and yeah. uh, if you have any questions about different types of tea uh, this is the place that we like to answer your questions but if you just want a quick uh, explanation what are the T types what's the basic difference from that we have several videos on that the link will be down below in the description box. That's right. And uh, again, in this, we just want to bridge a little bit between the East and the West of so the Chinese language, mm. the cultural difference mm. in something that uh, the translation might be uh, missing or uh, a little bit off. It's not, uh, you know, just to criticize, it was a bad job. It was very professionally really done. Really well done. Really mm. well done. Uh, I couldn't imagine myself do half as good, but uh, there's a little things that uh, mm. I think we can contribute as a tea background and uh, yeah, especially knowing a little terms. bit, yes, mm. Chinese and English, uh, just for fun. Kind yeah, of. some of it's just like sort of temporal update in the sense that this was published way back in the late 70s, right? Mm -hmm. So the whole language was used a little bit differently, not to mention it comes out of the UK where they speak the Queen's wonderful English. Yes. So yeah, that is what's but a little bit about what Sunday Tea Book is in general. I'll just back up a bit. So Sunday, so we're doing tea classification and theory and practice. But in general, this is where Jen and I take a book, paper, or an article, and we get in. We kind of take it apart and find if the translation. Sometimes the translation is chunky. Sometimes the translation doesn't exist. This one, the translation is great, but we get into the nuances you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, the link to that document, as Jen mentioned is uh, that comes out of the, I can't even remember what you said, the agricultural French place. Anyway, the link is down below, so if you want to follow along. In previous Sunday Tea Books, back when we were doing China Tea, I pulled the document up on the screen and we went along together on screen. I still do that, but not 
every word, not every section. So this link is down below. You can pull the document up. You can follow along. Mm -hmm. If you're following along on Instagram right now, we've got tea trivia time coming up before that. So you want to jump over to YouTube because none of the cool stuff happens on Instagram. Um, <laughs> and not for us. <laughs> so jump over to YouTube for tea trivia time. And we've mm -hmm. got a super fun video clip special. Um, um, tea music. Okay. Tea music. Yes. A tea music <laughs> related. And there's a question for you about what, was that your mom in the video on the rock tea garden? Rock tea garden, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, the we tea garden, yes, mm, all awesome. three of us uh, in we mountain. <laughs> that was Jian Li Wu. <laughs> so um, I think that covers uh, what we wanted to say. Jian, you talking about the um, the link is below. That's right. So all yeah. kinds of cool stuff coming up. So tea. what's brewing in your guys' cup? <laughs> like what? What are you drinking today? So I know that uh, Josh is uh, having some 2005 Monghai Shen Huar. Mm, yummy. And uh, we're going to have our favorite, one of our favorite. One of my know? favorites for sure. Right, Bayat Silai, which uh, we haven't had for quite a while. I'm really excited for this. And mm. as per usual, this is my first uh, Kung Fu brewing of the day. Sunday, now it has developed into a a tradition for us that we don't have morning tea in Gofu style on Sunday. Just wait we till... save it to have with you guys. Yeah, it really have a sense of relief when I first sip mm. those teas. Yes, and if you stick around, which uh, I recommend you do, you will notice that we both completely mellow out after our first <laughs> sip. That's our tradition. We come home super high energy, then we sip some tea and we're like, Ooh. It's just so refreshing and so calming somehow. Mm -hmm. And then we dive in. So. Uh, Instagram folks, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to grab you. Whoa, whoa, jiggly over here. I'm going to say jump over to YouTube. We'll see you there at Art, uh, hopefully. And if not, see you later. Bye bye. Instagram, bye bye. Share to So IGTV. happy to be done with the Instagram. I'm just like to sing. Oh, that's a nice thumbnail. All right. So, are we going to do the music before or after tea trivia? I think we should do it uh, after. What do you guys say? Yeah, let's do see what they think. Do you want to hear the music before the trivia or afterwards? No, 44. Let us know while we just get that posted. Go away, Instagram. Bye bye. I put that close, not too far. So Thank you can you. grab it. Thank you. And, oh, I uh, remember that. Yeah, I think we should. Uh, oh, somebody's got a green, fresh Taiwan yin. Fernanda has a fresh, green Taiwan yin. I think it might have been me. Uh, oh, people are, oh yeah, I love that you guys are chatting. You can share your tasting notes while we're chatting too with mm. us or with your uh, with your buddies out there in uh, chat land. We will come back. Time signature, we've got his attention. Music, <laughs> yes, music. And yes, I think we should make them wait a little bit. We should do the tea trivia. And if they don't do well enough, we cancel the video clip. That's what we're going to do. All right, so guys, I'm going to jump into uh, Sunday um, to tea ah. trivia time and uh, the stakes are high this time. The stakes are high. You know I'm kidding. You know I'm kidding, but I'm going to introduce it while we count down into tea trivia. All right, so let me get myself ready. You I gave kind me of, like your 12 grams of tea, huh? I gave us, I do, I love this tea. So yeah, you can grand. show it to them. Let's, let me let me show the um, brew cam here. We got to use the brew cam. I noticed we only use brew cam for five seconds. That's not money well spent. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about uh, efficiency. Can't have tea now. I just stopped driving just to be here. Oh, cool. Thank you, Mac McMillan. I guess you're um, you're on the road. It's, it sounds like you stopped driving. I think I read that right. Oh, Lolo's got an Ali Shan High Mountain Spring 2021. Fresh as fresh can be. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, Igor is chanting tea trivia time. Tea trivia time. One minute. We're just going to get the tea brewing. I got to have something to sip while we do tea trivia. We don't want to rush. Because once he starts tea trivia, there's no break. Holy bicep Talks curl no. on leg day. Phil's getting mean. This is a great, a great uh, exclamation. Holy bicep curl on leg day, right? So it's a leg workout day, but you throw in a couple bicep curls just because you're that vicious. Yes, I am that vicious. All right, they're all begging for tea trivia time. It's coming up. It's coming up. But first, let me smell some tea. I gotta, I gotta get into the zone with a little bit of this croissant in a cup. 
I don't know how many of you saw the pre-roll, but I, I really love this tea. I noticed that some of the notes, I'm gonna be looking for some of the notes that I saw in my write-up. Oh. I'm just, a, when I brew this, I just a smell the whole... You hit with it, huh? Yeah. You really hit the aroma, this buttery, roasty, creamy aroma. Floral too. I always leave out the floral note, but there's a yeah, prominent a it's sweet very floral. very prominent. Just that creaminess is so rich and... Uh... And if you read the article in uh, Cha Ren magazine, um, in Cha Ren 2019, we cover this, uh, the process. For me, it was so fascinating to watch Jian Li interact with the roaster. So the producer was there and the roaster was there, separate individuals, right? And even, anyway, that's a whole different story that maybe we can share some other time. And we tasted of like nine, 10, 12 different roasts of the same tea. And they're talking, talking, exchanging, getting to know each other's way they describe, way they explain. And then after this big session, Mondo, several hour session of sipping, we left and the roaster stayed up all night and made a batch. And that's what's in my cup right now. And because of that session, the, he, Gianni that wasn't would, the one. Ours arrived much later. The one is the one he's roasting. We wanted to tune it to see if he can roast right, at right. the level we want. Okay, so minor detail, but totally ruined the story. Oh, no, it's okay. Right. it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's better the way I tell it, but your way is actually what happened. So that's also important. <laughs> I feel like I haven't talked to anybody for a long time. I'm kind mm. of excited in mm. the metal way because I'm still having tea, but I'm really excited mm. to have a live session and stuff. <sighs> oh yes, so Josh says, I hope it's okay to say, but he's getting the shimpuar burps. And we totally get the burps sometimes from the tea, from tea. It depends on the tea, right? But it'll, different teas hit you different ways. That is a way that tea sometimes It's really sometimes natural for us. If you go to mm. Chinese tea, oh. uh, yeah, all the, time. the farms and the producer when drink tea and burp, like those things are, uh, you don't have to emphasize that, but you don't have to be shy mm. about that. It's just yeah, normal. Nobody says anything. Normal it body just, reaction, yep, right? Yep, yep. So, and a certain... And somebody might comment. Sometimes it's satisfying. Mm, Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And and even somebody might comment at the table, oh, you have t -bur. Like in a really casual... Not t -bur. We call that cha -si, not yeah, cha -si. <laughs> You know, that's, that means t yeah, That's a t -bur. That's a t -bur. <laughs> All right, cha -si, okay. t -bur. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, guys. Enough goofing around. We know what time it is. We know what time it is. Do, 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 do. I have so many buttons to press that I sing a little song. <laughs> T trivia time. Turn the screen. The countdown has begun. All right, guys. In 20 seconds, we are going to kick off T trivia time. I was just kidding. Okay, you will get your movie. Don't panic. Have fun. Take a guess. Press the number of the answer that you think is correct on your keyboard, and uh, just have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy the. Enjoy the. Enjoy the fun questions. I tried to come up with some nice. A nice balance today. I'm not trying to stump you, but I'm not giving it away. And here we go, folks. We're diving in. For Gen T, top grade white tea. For Gen T, top grade white tea. Top grade refers to, is it one, white tea made with buds plucked before Ming Tian? Is it two, white tea made with buds plucked before noon? Is it three, white tea made with the very first buds of spring? Or is it four, white tea made with high quality material? C equals burp now, eh? Yes, it does. All right, guys. So for Gen T's top grade white tea, what does the top grade refer to? Let's get ready to rumble. That was time signatures comment. <laughs> All right. Even after the time has run down, folks, you can still enter your answer, but you got to be quick because time is running out. I love my little TikTok. We've got answers rolling in. So pro. We've got a couple answers for white tea made with high quality material. We have a couple for white tea made with the very first buds of spring. Igor coming in with high quality material. Josh following suit. Great, roll your answers in. Hey, way to go, Fernanda and Mac McMillan. Gen T's top grade refers to white tea made with the very first buds of spring, which means not the first buds, but after all the winter, 
you can only have one pluck, not first flush concept, the first pluck after the winter. So all that goodness that they've stored up is in there. Of course, it also means top grade processing and a perfect sip and all of those other things, but that's sort of the highlight. And on Taimu Mountain, origin matter. And on Taimu Mountain. All right, guys, let's proceed. The key steps in tasting tea like a pro are, one, bottoms up shooter style. <laughs> Two, observe, smell, sip, breathe over the liquor while it's in your mouth, swallow slowly, and allow time, or is it smell, comment, sip, comment, swallow, comment, or four, observe, smell, sip, spit. <laughs> Submit your answers, folks. Get them in quick. Time is running out. The key steps in tasting tea like a pro are, and why I like to come back to this, I think I've had a few questions with variations on this, is because this is from a video that we have. I'll add the link down below. It changed my whole ability to get into sort of the deeper nuances of tea. So uh, I love to kind of revisit this frequently. I'll give you a hint. There, that was your hint. All right, guys. <laughs> That's also a word acting. That was pretty great. Way to go, everybody. I'm gonna give you guys a win for that. Great work, folks. That's right. Observe, smell, sip, breathe over, swallow, and allow time. If you're using the longest answer is probably right. You got this one right. Way to go, everybody. All right. Good job. All right. <laughs> Next one. In tea classification and theory and practice, the order of the tea categories, which is green, yellow, dark, white, oolong, and black, are all in historic order of appearance except, is it one, green tea? Is it two, oolong tea? Three, dark tea, or four, herbal tea. What the heck? Do you all pronounce that herbal tea or herbal tea? Let us know how you pronounce it, folks. Is it herbal or herbal? I got it. When I first pronounced it, I, I said uh, herbal tea. Then I got corrected. Now I feel like it's herbal tea. I'm contaminated. Mm, that's I don't right. know. All right, a few seconds left to get your answers in. We must have a little bit of lag. I see two has rolled in from Dominic. Josh also guessing two oolong slash blue long tea, as we've seen in the document. I think Time Signature coined blue long, which I happen to love. I think it's the perfect match of the two ways of naming oolong. Also guessing oolong is Time Signature. And then A, Igor. Wulu, wulu tea. And there we have it. Way to go, everybody. Just about a Mac McMillan guest herbal tea, but I will give us a win for that again. That's enough. Almost everything. Way to go, way to go, guys. Way to keep guessing, way to keep throwing it out there. We're having a blast. We're getting closer to your surprise treat coming up. But first, we have a couple more questions. Our most recent video features GME in this kind of tea garden. Is it one? An Angie Bai Cha tea garden. Is it two? A Guju Zasun tea garden. Three, an ancient tree Puar tea garden. Or is it four? A Taeguan Yin tea garden. Get your answers in quick so you can win big prizes. No, there's no prizes. <laughs> Josh says, I say herbal. Haha. <laughs> it's herbal. considered proper, right. not as incorrect, but as in Queen's English proper. But just off just like often instead of often. Often. Often, often. So, Who says often? You say often. Just proper, just like often. I guess often is proper. I didn't know. A few seconds to get your answers in. What in the most recent video features Jen Lee in which kind of tea garden? Is it which one? I see lots of guesses for Angie Bai Cha, a guess for Guju Sasun. Hmm, that's a good one. That one is her favorite tea garden, a particular Guju Sasun garden that we've talked about way back a long time ago in Sunday Kibo. Lots of guesses for one. You guys are crushing it. Mac McMillan, bad luck, but good guess. Good guess and way to go, everybody. Yeah. 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 Calm down, guys, calm down. Thank you. All right, guys, way to go. You guys are just crushing tea trivia time. This week, we are on to 
our final question. But first, a sip of tea. Ah, no, says in the French part of Canada, they say herbal, like hotel. 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 Right. Mm. That's what I guess. Okay, I, guess you I gotta read the question. Oh, Give me sorry. a minute. In the same video, the one we just talked about in the previous question, the cute name for the small train used to transport tea leaves down the mountain and sometimes used to transport people up the mountain is, is it one, a da da chi, two, a do do chi, I didn't say that very differently, but anyway, is it three, Thomas the Tank Engine, or four, the Orient Express? <laughs> Don't laugh, they might know it's right. <laughs> If I know they for sure. All right, a few a few seconds left to get the answer in. In the same video, there was a cute little train. Was it called a da da chi, a do do chi, Thomas the Tank Engine, or the Orient Express? I see a couple guesses coming in for do do chi, and we're computing the answers. Lolo under the wire with da da chi. Josh goes with do do. True. And whoa, way to go guys, just about everybody. And Mac McMillan, I love your guess for Thomas the Tank Engine. Let's throw it down for Thomas. Give him a little yay. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Thomas the Tank Engine. Nobody gets the Olympic Express. Oh well. Sorry, Agatha Christie. That is just too bad. The results are being tabulated as we speak, folks. And Fernanda. Oh yeah. Way to go with great job. Five correct answers wow. in the first place spot. Josh, uh, Dominique. Igor, uh, time signature, all coming in with four correct answers out of five. Mac McMillan and Lolo, you guys did great. You're all winners in my book. That was tea trivia time. Wow, this is always way too much fun for a tea video. I don't know, I thought these were supposed to be boring. No, they're not. They're amazing. Excellent. Wow. All right. I didn't mean to be mean to any other tea YouTubers out there. If that's the way it sounded, I didn't mean it to sound like that. I just think it's a little bit overly exciting. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm just here to watch your show. <sighs> That's what she always says. All right, guys. We're getting closer to our special release of some new, a new little video clip, a new little video music it's clip. It's really short. I it's don't really want to short. get your I know, news. I feel like we built it up a little bit too much. I don't know. What that's it, <laughs> right? It's um, it's a fun thing that fun. he worked yeah. all night last night, all night last night, on that. Yeah, uh, and it's fun. Okay, you know his style, and uh, and we will talk about the the clip like in detail in the T side. Yeah, it's actually a really interesting video clip. Mm. If you pay attention, don't be too distracted by by the amazing music and singing. The music's not by me. But uh, don't be too distracted. Pay attention to the video clip. We're going to talk about it in the end because there's... I got T-burps. Josh, me and you got the T-burps. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Um, we're going to talk about what's going on in the video because it's pretty fascinating. All right. Mm. A couple more notes about this tea, though. It does have that... Oh. Calming. Roasty, floral. Calming and very uplifting. Yeah, it has that like nice a, combination quite of Quite cheerful calming notes in terms of the notes. Like a, not like a Tianliang Cha calming. All right, we're going to stick with you. We'll be in the upper corner, but we hope that you enjoy this. I was a little early on the clap, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the roasting dance. Did you like the background dance? Pushing. I was roasting in oh. my mind. Okay. Anyway, I hope you are all dancing out there too. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the roasting dance. Stay tuned. Once we get through Sunday Tea Book, we are going to talk about... It's pretty cool. It's, it's cool to have a little fun song. I, I just... Um, when I watch the video, you know, I obviously I ask a million questions because I'm like, whoa, like it... You know, they're roasting, but did you see the way they were orchestrated and the timing? And we're going to talk about all of that because I had a million questions, but that's the first thing I thought. It's like, it's like a dance. And then immediately, Men Without Hats rushed into my brain and I thought, it's the roasting dance. And then that happened. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> time signature, safety <laughs> danced, improved tenfold. <laughs>
I don't know. I got to give credit to Men Without Hats. It's a really groovy song. <laughs> All right. So uh, Dominique said, what a jam. He liked that. I hope you guys like that. So stick around. We'll talk more about what's going on in that video mm. at the end of Sunday Tea Book. But now it is time to dive back into this fascinating document that, oh, yo, I pressed a button. I don't know what happened. We Oops. disappeared. Let me come back here. Well, here's the tea book with us. Here we are. Ooh, We're right here, guys. Cool. Don't worry. I don't know what happened to us. Maybe not this now. Oh, I know what happened. Sorry. I know. I was so... My pinky hit my phone and made us turn black. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Mac McMillan can't dance. He's in a truck. Mm. I'm in a seat too, so all I could do is jiggle a little bit. But yeah, it's okay. As long as you were uh, dancing in your brains... Hmm. We're going to have to figure out how to get Mac McMillan set up with some kind of travel brewing contraption so he can <laughs> brew in his truck. Right? You know, all in right. China, there are those uh, people when they travel, they set up the whole Kung Fu session mm. in the middle. It's not suggestive. Like, no, the they middle. actually had some suggestions, some official state suggestions come out and say, hey, don't, don't, brew, do that. don't brew and drive. And there, some of them have a little, you roll the center console back and it exposes yes. a tea the table. Sen, the center console is a tea table or a hot pot. Like a ro <laughs> <laughs> food culture or hot pot in the center. So it was like a... Yeah, don't hot pot and yeah, drive, right? Yeah. They don't have so much, uh, you know, in talk. And, don't, and they, 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 actually, the, we have a traffic police. Like they're just the traffic police. Mm. Uh, so it's they even working. come out with a whole <laughs> list of uh, don't don't barbecue on your engine, don't this and that. It's a bunch of uh, yeah. <laughs> a bunch of suggestions in, yeah, in the don't west. Don't go you, brew while you're driving. You don't like, have hot pot. It's dangerous stuff. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah. Mm. So back to tea classification in theory and practice. Mm -hmm. Fascinating read. So interesting to see how the T categories went from, we're kind of seeing how they went from sort of a colloquial loose categorization. The names existed and then how Mr. Chen Chuan went and scientifically examined the T's and started and figure out why they should be in different categories and how to correct if it's in a wrong, quote unquote, mm -hmm. wrong category using science as well as practice. Like, I guess the title, In Theory and Practice, is really, it's not just a catchy title. He really did consider what are the practices of the people, what is the content of the leaf, and how yes. to best... and practice of the process, mm. yes. and, which yes. we will talk about today, as many people are having different uh, thoughts about this. What? Time Signature says, don't body slam while driving, <laughs> like, from the safety dance. <laughs> And Mac McMillan says, I like Chongqing hot pot. Mm. Just not while driving, not recommended. We love that too. Yes, but back to that, I didn't mean mm -hmm. to interrupt so we can um, dive in. Oh, yes. So, uh, <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh, I wanted to start with letting folks know if you've grabbed the document in the link down below, mm -hmm. Uh, in the English document, let me just head back to it so that you can, um, I'll show you that we are on the bottom of page 337 mm -hmm. as it exists in the, uh, I don't even think I'm on the right page here. Let me get, oh, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. So we're at the bottom of page 337, which is uh, page 10 in the Adobe, but 337 is what's written on the page. It's way up at the top of the page or on the next page. You can see 338 right there, guys. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at. See the green dot? That's where we're starting. So I will pass it back over to you and you can give them the little summary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, this is a really nice, like uh, last week and this week, we are at the bridge phase of the article. As of from next week on, we will be diving into a little bit processing. Mm. Or you will see his, uh, <laughs> what? A little bit of processing. I was going to say arguably like, in ex <laughs> like a little bit excessive detail mm. processing, but like, it's uh, interesting. We have been doing this article for so long. You probably also noticed that when he's talking about uh, this uh, classification thing, he touches not only on uh, chemical and lab area or theory er mm -hmm. area, it also well supported uh, from the practical side, from the, you know, the, from 
the frontier of the tea producing、mm. side, farmers and stuff, and、uh, so that will be very clear when we talk about the process, which I. Based on my experience, I feel like there are lots of misunderstanding or confusions about that.、Mm. So in today's session, he is summarizing about、uh, basically what are the major、um, type, like a major considerations of a T classification, why、mm. they're in this order, and、uh, also pointing out that.、Uh, Building this system has to be systematic, and built based on quality, feature, and、uh, process. So that's how、uh, we can further, we can first start building a real、um, scientific system for that, and、uh, dive into、mm. each categories for、uh, its own unique features. Right.、Mm. Right. Yeah. So、um, I just want to show them maybe the、um, yeah. So in the first couple paragraphs, I think we'll. I don't know. I'm、mm -hmm. a little bit. I don't know. I need a little bit of tea.、Okay. I'm out of tea. I've run out of tea. <laughs> I just wanted to come over here though, guys, and show you back where we started. So we've seen just as a reminder, if you're reading along and you read yellow alkane alcohols, that is、uh, flavonoids, is a better translation for that. So yeah, flavonoids spelled right this week.、Yeah. And there is one sentence that I found really hard to understand. I had to le lean on Jen to get this sort of Chinese version, and then I put the sort of my thought about the translation over here in the margin, right? So in basically instead of Uh, tea varieties and categories of tea are not as many and various as those of the plants as a whole. It's more like the finished tea varieties, so like dried tea, and、yes. categories should should not be as numerous as the varieties of the plant.、Yeah. It's more like that vibe, just that they're,、um, you know, we're categorizing, so we're grouping things together.、Mm -hmm. uh, that's a minor thing, and then.、Um, mm. And uh, later on, there's uh, they use the word mature. Right. Yes, that's right. So that's the, uh, like uh, from non-existence to existence, from existence to maturity. Yeah. Uh, I thought when I first read it, I was like,、uh, okay, that's pretty good way, a little bit metaphoric, good like a、uh, way to say that as Chinese, it simply say good. And it is pretty. Good. It is right. A maturity means you have a pretty good system or yep, stuff like that.、Yep. It means it's a certain point pretty good. So,、uh, if it's too, like, if this section sounded a little bit like abstract, empty, abstract, mm, abstract, a little bit too empty, abstract. Abstract is talking about basically、um, talking about tea. This old category thing has a gradual development from the new category and、uh, from to produce, say, the born of a black tea,、mm. right? It's accumulated knowledge of a tea process, and eventually it become a black tea. And as it produces for decades or hundreds of years, this black tea process also get mature and、right. become really has a quality、uh, implication in it. Right. So you everything needs time to develop. Yeah. Yeah, the the aspects of the the notes that they want to emphasize are discovered, and they find ways to enrich them. And so maturity means like good or quality、mm -hmm. here.、Mm. Yes. I just wanted to say,、uh, what did、uh, Josh said something funny? He said, "Remember about I think about the video, right? Remember when Sunday Tea Book was about a book?" But he was just kidding, and he put like ten、right, right. million emojis. Chongqing Hot Pot, Josh's favorite too. Holy rainbow in the dark! I just noticed Jen's nail polish. Good observation. Brewing can. Chocolate bean.、Uh, no, no, no. This way. This way. They actually have the aroma <laughs> of chocolate, but not today. They're all the aroma has worn out. Mac McMillan says because of COVID, I haven't been to Chongqing to visit my wife, so I can't get good hot pot. Mm. Mm. Hopefully, the vaccine will change it. Mm. Hopefully, things will clear up soon. Mm. Welcome 
back to the yes. Oh, oh, yes. Here we are. Mm. There is an interesting part here. In Majorca, the secure minor groups can be fancy in place. This is done with the same association of features. Huh? This is not. What is the condition is now? Just finding our spot. Hmm? You didn't highlight this. Highlight this. Right. From non existence to existence yeah, yeah. is not possible. No real path left from non existence to maturity, and after that, that's a separate. Mm -hmm. That's a separate. In classifying in classifying teeth, mm. the first task is to lay down the major categories. This is done with the associated character of the teeth with the method used in processing it. There we go. Once the yeah, that's the part. Once the major category is secure, the minor groups can be fastened in place. I this love is that. done I love that language. Right? This is done with the same association of features. So there's minor difference in Chinese in terms of what he said. One is the major ca categories is uh, uh, quality uh, and feature combined with the process. That's how the major uh, categories are categorized, while the minor ones are process combined with character or say quality. There's a um, uh, a uh, difference in terms of which one plays a major part when oh. it comes to the different layers of a class of So basically class. this is done with the same association of features is a little bit leaving out a detail. Yeah, the detail is, is a flip the order. It goes features first and then um, process. Mm. Right, right. Right. Because it's a minor difference in process. Basically the process is the same. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Because why, like, I just wanted to say the, like, in terms of uh, quality and stuff, like in this area, you really, if you read this article a little bit more, you will notice process, even though it defines a, a lot of stuff, it's not all. The quality is the, like, the harness for make sure it goes within this category. That's why mm. I often use yes. the example like yes. uh, uh, some, some new countries are trying to uh, explore speciality, speciality? Specialty tea. Spe specialty, specialty tea. And uh, they do a oolong tea. Then you look at that tea and you taste that tea, that's just a black tea. Mm. They, but they categorize that as oolong because they think their process is partially yeah, they, they try to partially oxidize, but the result mm. is it's done too much. So mm. in terms of the quality, despite the process or right. the intention, it already falls into black tea. Right. So there's importance in terms of that. It's really in terms of tea, uh, even though we say a tea process, but it's not as long as they go through this whole process, they right. end up as wulong. Right, right. There's a white tea that end up to taste just like um, uh, oolong tea even. Right. Because they went through too much of the say, oxidization, even though all they did was dry, some dry or something. When they don't know how to do it, yeah. there's a lot of things that could go off. And that also leads to the internal changes when the right. material changes right. too much or too little, it affects the taste. Yeah. So those are important things that has to be considered all together. Is really even though we said the process decides the tea category, it is at a certain point oversimplified. Yeah, yeah, it's not like that. It's the process plus the other characteristics. You yeah. know, the internal change, and uh, he even mentioned earlier in the article, you how do you ascertain? It's you the process, but also look at the dry leaf, the liquor, the brewed leaf, yeah. all will give you hints about the characters of the tea and obviously the flavor being number mm. one. That's why the for the major category is uh, the quality or the character, the features as the base combined with this process. Well, it's subcategories, it's the process more play a major role than combined with the stuff. Mm. When it's different, the green teas, 
right? Mostly we see that, uh, say, pan fried green tea or that uh, steamed green tea. That's the process that's right. major and right. combined with its taste. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is, I don't know if you guys are curious, because uh, he really emphasized on the order of yes. when the tea is yes. developed. That's why I brought that question into tea trivia time, because I was kind of fascinated with that as well. Okay. He mentions a couple times in the document that we okay. see the categories are arising in the order they were discovered or in the order that they came about. Mm -hmm. He mentions that several times. Right. But yeah. It's just for us as a daily tea drinker, it really doesn't matter. Do we say like white tea first or right. do we say black tea first? It really doesn't play. Like we don't care much, right? Uh, but however, he is a... Uh, um, like he's trying to put in a system with the whole country and uh, there's a lot of uh, little considerations like he pointed out that this order is not based on the quantity it's not based on any other things his uh, uh, order is based on the historical reason plus the chemical reason which is uh, relatively pretty uh, objective and mm, that's to very. avoid, you know, uh, certain like uh, marketing usage or certain things. Right. Like I, uh, I remember back a while ago when uh, Maria Carey and uh, Whitney Houston work on the this same song. This is a great song. comparison. They have uh, uh, it was a great song. What was that? Was that from the um, Why You Believe or that song? Anyway, that it was for uh, a Disney anime, movie, right? Disney movie. Mm. Anyway, they. A rumor has it, I don't know, but they said they had a big quarrel about whose name goes first. Is this song by Maria Carey and Whitney Houston, or is that by Whitney Houston and Maria Carey? Is so it they Phil and did... Jen, or is it Jen and Phil? Yes. Maybe for people, they... <laughs> for certain people, they really care about the order, and for example, for marketing reasons, Darty, if I'm the Darty producer, I don't want to be like at the bottom of the list. Last, right? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. some people might think, oh, you're, you're not so good. You're That's why you're on the bottom of the list. That's right. uh, one of the or if industry they're like me, considerations. Or they might get distracted before they even get to the bottom of the list. Right, or is he, uh, maybe he is more into green tea. That's why green tea is the first or something. Like it's a more uh, industry consideration mm. to clear out why it's, put in this order but to us there's right so it's, it's kind of like a qualifier to say hey in historic order not order of importance not order of and he even mentions uh order of uh production or something mm. in the document somewhere in these this section he mentions they're not in the order of production because this varies um it's not consistent but the way he orders them which is by internal content it doesn't change. Those are the def become the definition of the tea. That's how it is. Mm. It's Jen and maybe Phil. Yes, that is the correct answer. That should be a teacher via question. Stay tuned next week. That could be a question on teacher. I feel time. the opposite. I noticed um, Mac McMillan has. Um, he, uh, we're sorry about you've been apart from your wife and daughter so long. That is awful. I just noticed a comment oh. a while ago. We didn't really have time to say much, but yeah, he's been. Uh, because of COVID, he hasn't been able to get to Chongqing to visit his wife and have a good hop up. But then he mentioned his wife and daughter are there. They've been separated wow. for a long time, I guess, since last March, ostensibly uh, going on a year. So I hope that comes around for mm. you soon. Hope the vaccine yeah. changes the situation and you can get over there That's and tough. enjoy their company as well as some amazing hop pop. Mm. And yes, it is Jen and Phil, maybe Phil. Awesome. Whew. So I think that covers I just, uh, covers off this week's. Um, and one mini you, little good, thing. Good. Uh, just a mini thing. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to shut you down. It's okay. Her. It's okay. Uh, just uh, we talk about the quality, character, and stuff like that. There's a background thing. Maybe we're not uh, uh, aware of at this point of time, but at his time. Is they have been, uh, you know, China was uh, uh, for decades or centuries, it's almost a century of a chaos and stuff. And mm -hmm. the tea is, though we were producing, uh, the quantity had dropped a lot before the oh, yeah. uh, PRC has uh, 
kind of uh, restore the order mm. and uh, like a lot of the chaos in not only the tea field but also tea production and stuff and that affects tea exporting and stuff because when say other country are buying tea today i got this quality tomorrow i got a lame quality because mm. there's no system so uh, may a lot of the uh, uh like tea masters at that time worked really hard to build a system why they want to classify it why they want to talk about quality standard substance and all those stuff they're trying to build a system that works in a in a uh how should i say in a like a government level a government or an administrative level yeah as and well as on the farmers level that right. they know and they could implement and help Chinese tea to get on the standard to have a uh, uh, what is supposed to have like restore mm -hmm. the what well, when we were at more peaceful time and the skills and everything so lots of uh, hard work they're doing is to bring people to a page mm -hmm. to know okay even though you have been doing this tea for 20 years like that it's still poor quality it's not gonna good why and explain and help right. them improve so they really work hard on building a quality system mm -hmm. and referable quality system and that's a under undertone like if you read this article you can see his um certain ways that when he expresses there's many like a quality concern or stuff how to make sure when we do this it right. also reflects the quality and stuff so that that was a little bit like trying to fill it in with yes. what happened at that time yeah mm -hmm. and josh makes a good point he says i don't really get it why do we need to even have an order why can't it just be a, a amorphous list with no set order and that's exactly what it can be mm -hmm. there's no need for it not to be until it comes time to write it down then you've got to have one you at the front have, and yeah. one at the back right so that's why he's explaining and i think why he chose the uh the historic order of appearance mat happened mm -hmm. to match with the exception of as we emphasize today with the exception of blue long tea um which kind of drops into the middle-ish area and um so that's so he's just qualifying it when he's writing it he has to put them in some order and he doesn't want people to get overly excited or overly downtrodden about oh go gosh i'm at the end of the list i'm a black tea producer darn it no 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 it's not about that mm -hmm. uh, but and you never know there could be people who chop the sentence and say okay he's saying that this is the t you know right yes it like can, a, quotes can be taken out of context yes, right yes, and he doesn't want right. that so if anybody goes back and sources it they can always see uh, that's not what's going on here so uh, lots of cool stuff that i've learned i, I also, read a question i lolo asked uh, are major categories and minor groups uh and possible associations, combinations are listed somewhere. It's not listed here. This is uh, this car. Uh, this uh, article is more of a theory kind of explanation in terms of a, a minor category. Major categories are the six T types we're mm -hmm. talking about: mm -hmm. uh, green, woolen, black, and Et other ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the minor ones. If you uh, you can uh, check our China tea book when we talk about each type. For what are minor ones? For example, green tea. Minor ones: are Chinese green tea, four type: Chao Qing, Zhen Qing, Hong Qing, and she hit the fourth. <laughs> There's another one. Anyway, <laughs> four ones: so pan fry, uh, steam, uh, bake or roast, however you call that, and Shai uh, Qing, sun dry. Mm. So those. Oh right, ones. of course. Mm. Uh, those are quote unquote the minor category under green tea that under uh, those ones you can also have varieties right. of different teas and actually mm -hmm. I think tune in next week we're going to be diving in type by type we're going to be diving into sort of some of those um, I think mm. green tea I don't know, quick look. Yeah. yes there we go so stay tuned for those mm. great question great question yeah, yeah and I think that's a good spot to maybe have a look at that video since Let's you mentioned uh what was the third one roast bake ting ah. 
Shatting, chanting. Anyway. Haunting. Haunting. There we go. But it's not that. It's not haunting. We're going to get back to it. So I think, guys, there's go we're going to enjoy the music one more time, okay? Because this is a party time. Okay. So before, maybe this time, uh, give you a little bit more information while you're watching that. So that uh, music, as the title suggests, is a roasting step. So that's a unique roasting step in uh, Anhui province. Uh, more specific uh, in that uh, Liuan area, they do this. Mm. It's called the La Da Huo. And you, uh, mm. when you watch the video, pay attention to that um, the, the charcoal pot. That big charcoal pot is actually, you can see the flame on top of it. It's not fire, it's a charcoal flame. So it's yeah, slightly it's, tra more transparent than yes. the real like, Almost a blue fire. white flame. Yes, you mm. will realize that's really hot and how quick they're doing that. Uh, so that's a interesting step. Yeah. Same with our Huang Da Cha. If you feel like that roastiness, that dark, like chocolatey thing, mm. that step. Chocolatey coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, if you want to see it without uh, my wonderful song, so there they are. So basically, you can see it's just uh, they are. They put that on the fire. Simply uh, speaking, you put that on the fire. You take a, what three seconds, tops, five seconds tops. tops. So basically, you turn around and put it off. They would do that right. for the whole afternoon hours of doing that, and that's the last step of this. Uh, this is I mm -hmm. think that's guapian, and um, and you see how they're flipping it. I got a chance to try this once. I'm gonna keep playing that. Okay. Because it's interesting. I don't know if it looks right, right. But here they're flipping it. That looks so innocent. They just throw that around, right? But no, they actually bring all the bottom leaves. You so the have to. Yeah, the ones that were close to the fire, they get them on the top, and the ones that were far last time onto the bottom. So I, that they will be evenly roasted. If you don't rotate the whole thing, the bottom one will be burned, the top one is still raw, mm -hmm. but it will absorb that burnt flavor, so the whole batch will be ruined. Not only that, it's delicate, right? You yes. gotta be gentle with those leaves or they're gonna break. I tried this, I totally failed at it. It was so tricky to. Yes. Uh, to get the, the for me, the, the delicacy isn't hard, but the rotate, I mean, mm. is a combo pack. You gotta do it all at once. Mm. So getting that rotation to be even was so tricky, like kind of keeping track of yeah. the possible. And uh, the thing is, uh, the delicate thing is really hard because we need to mm. scoop the whole thing. And you notice they are not like a forever just uh, flipping and flip it, no, right? No. The more flipping, the more shakes it produce, which is losing money for producer, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then it also loses the temperature. If you just uh, uh, right. rather Airing than it. do that three times, you right. like pro do three times, the, the whole thing is a flip. I do 10 times and it's not done, the whole temperature drops. Mm -hmm. and. That's a different effect of roasting in it. Uh, and also, if you notice on the ground, there's not as much as the shakes. Like, there is a balance of when I try to flip it, I cannot be too harsh. I don't want to like yeah. squish the dry leaves. At that point, the tea leaves are already very dry. So mm. it's very, very brittle. Brittle. I don't want to dry it, but. And also those are shakes, once you put that on the fire, the whole thing sits down a shake. So all the tea shake would fall in the charcoal, which Burn. also burns and generate that burnt flavor with, and the tea leaves absorb, absorb uh, like a smells, smells really, right? really well. So that would affect the whole result mm. as well. So. It's a very, like, it seems pretty uh, simple just to right? do that. Right, it just looks like, yeah, we could yeah. jump in and do that. But it's, it's and that's really the point. It's, and it's hours. It's hours doing right? that at that speed, which is a three seconds to turn and go yeah. away. Like, I watched Time Signature that. mentioned that. He says, he says, he says I, bet, I bet they burn a lot of calories like that. So I not, will say that too. Not to yesterday. mention the climate. It's not, you know, it can be quite hot and you're in a room with a, it's a, wet with a raging hot. fire, right? Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, so it's not really so that you understand every detailed step, but more to understand what mm. goes into when you do sip a great cup of tea, what are some of the, the intricacies and the, you know, it's, it's hard to imagine if you don't see those guys do that with such precision mm. and delicacy. I remember seeing the roaster in Taimu too, mm. doing the white tea roasting, mm. completely different process. 
but the guy's been doing it for over 50 years and he and when i saw those uh, i always feel like i could do that it's not hard right? yes it's a little bit of like energy like a uh, physical right, right. work but uh, what could be hard to flip that thing you right. know, see how they do it and then when i do it it's not mm -hmm. the same and they're like no no <laughs> let us do it <laughs> right so mac mcmillan asks what type of tea was that i think he it's thought it was green guapian, tea, guapian. Mm, luan guapian, guapian. Luan guapian. Mm. so that's the type of tea that it is and lolo says something that's very true and she's it's a pity we can't smell the aroma 100 percent agree that room would smell so great actually not really yes because it's a really gentle, it's oh, not it's so like gentle. a, it's a gentle. Earlier in the process is more booming, huh? Like when it's no, fresh. Green tea in general uh -huh. is not overly booming. Right. It's not overly booming when you uh, do that. You really have to be uh, very on top of the leaves. Mm, right. Because it's a so uh, tender, like it's very delicate. Mm. You never want any burnt flavor or huge right. flavor so the right. room is relatively neutral with a little bit of that charcoal smell and a little bit of tea but not overly right. tea smell mm. right i'm just trying to remember where it was where we were where oh it was in take uh with um in take one yin when the take mm. one yin you have that really tea aroma when you walk yeah. into the processing yeah. room. Oolong, mm. black, uh, because of their process. Squeezing as well, out the juice more. Yeah, as mm. well as the, uh, the the leaf, right? Green tea are tender buds. Even guapian, people think leaf. Guapian are not normal leaves. They are right. that new opening leaves, which right. are all Just opened. Yes, and right. in early times, so they curl. That's a, like a unique standard of guapian. For good guapian, they should... Uh, Need that open, but with still with a little bit of that. It curled edge. backwards. It right. curled backwards. Oh, it's backwards. a really interesting state of early wow. uh, guapian. Mm. I think we have something on that, like yes. a pose or something. Oh well. All right, all right, guys. So uh, that wraps up this episode of Sunday Tea Book. I hope you enjoyed the uh, extra little explanation of the video. Mm -hmm. um, very interesting roasting process. And next week, tune in. We're diving into green tea deeper, uh, which will be so so amazing. Uh, I'm really loving this article. The mm. combination of field practical field experience that Mr. Chen Chuan brings, combined with the scientific knowledge of tea, and uh, yeah, so join us uh, next week for that. Um, I hope that spring is treating you well and that things are getting back to normal. Uh, mm -hmm. If not quickly, at least slowly where you are. We've got our fingers crossed here. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh, and finally, Mac McMillan. I hope you get to see your family soon and everybody else. Until next time, and Mac McMillan, everybody, until next time. <laughs> How was the thinking? How was the right? Don't comment. Don't come. <laughs> Hope you have a nice weekend. And until next time. Keep steeping. Bye-bye. Keep steeping.